Yeah, hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel, Leslie Ann here. If you are new to my channel, then welcome. If you are a regular viewer to my channel, then guess what I've got for you guys? Only a flipping pound land haul. If you'd like to see it, just stay there and let's get into the video, yeah? Actually know what to start with but right let me just go no particular order I think that's probably best let me just move you back a little bit there we go renovation work going on here if you're wondering what that is it's not like a climbing frame it's a I don't know what you call it stud wall no stud wall. pardon stud wall. stud wall ready to have everything else done to it Right, okay. So the first thing that I picked it up then, I'm just going to put my glasses here because I will need them for some things like this. So these were a pound, as you can see, and they're just sort of, they're just like the normal earrings that you can actually get in Primark, and they are, um, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pairs of earrings there for a pound. Um, so you've got your tiny dainty little pearls here. You've got like your little crystally diamond looking ones there. Um, here you've got silver studs, just the little ball studs. What are these ones? Pearls, um, other but bigger like crystally ones. Um, you've got some more of the like silver tone ball studs there. Pearls again, the bigger diamond looking ones and here you've got like the silver, like the big um, ball stud ones there. So yeah, I thought they were brilliant actually for a pound. You just cannot go wrong with those, can you? A little bit of costume jewellery. Um, also picked up now, I am waiting for a new appointment for the opticians. Um, in actual fact, I need to get and make that. It's not them. They've sent me reminders and I need to do it. But um, I fancied a new pair of readers and I kind of know my prescription. Tried these and these were okay for now until such time as um, I book my new appointment. These are plus three because my eyesight is absolutely terrible. They were three pounds and this is what they look like. Okay, um, they've literally just got, on the arms, they've got this brassy gold colour here and then you've got like your tortoise shell here. And I just thought they were really nice. Um, the glasses that I'm wearing now, these, I absolutely love them. But this bit here, that bit there, is forever getting caught in my hair, like pulling out the little bit. So... That's not good, is it? So I've got those. Um, also picked up some more of the um, the PS French nails, false nails. French is the design of these. Um, and it's called Shimmer Frenchy. There you go. So that's what these ones, a little bit of glare on there from the light. But yeah, that's what they look like. So I might sit down and do those tonight. Um, also picked up some of these dear little socks. They were reduced from two pounds down to one pound, um, and they are the you know like the fishnet type of you can get your fishnet stockings, fishnet ties. Well, I picked these up in the socks because um, sometimes I wear some socks and they do just like rub a little bit. So I thought, well, these still look quite feminine and quite nice. So this is what they look like. And as I say, they were reduced down. Um, but what I thought was really cute was this little here. They've got a little sparkly diamond bit at the top. You can just sort of see that glittering a little bit. So I thought they were really sweet. Especially if you're going to wear like jeans or long trousers and you sit down, you might just get a little glimpse of that at the bottom of the trouser leg. So I thought they were nice. Um, what else did I pick up? Kind of just doing a few basics at the moment. Um, picked up some more of the Opal Cosmetic pads. I think I probably got about two pads left, so I was in desperate need for these. These are 90p, and I prefer the oval ones because rather than use two of the smaller round discs, I can get away with just one of these most of the time. But 90p bargain. 
Um, Okie doke. So, right. <clears throat> Picked up some more slippers for me. Um, I kind of get through a pair of slippers maybe every, I think I've said it before in one of my videos, but every four to six weeks because I literally, as soon as I come in, I put them on and then I like live and die in my slippers until such times I have to go out again. Um, so these are in size small and they're the memory foam slipper. They were four pounds and they're just really, really cute. They just remind me of like, it's like teddy bear material or, um, wow, well, as I'm a dog lover, I'd probably say more poodle, that type of thing. Um, they're just like the mules, so your toes are enclosed in them. But I thought the detail on the side was really, really cute. So you've got your little blush or pale pink bow here, and then you've got this beautiful little rose gold accent bow on the top and I thought they were really sweet and the other thing I really like about them is if you do have to go outside to the bins or something like that you can because they do have this rubber sole but the other thing is they're it's just like the little attention to detail this here the little seam that goes under here above the sole is also in the rose gold um, glitter edging and I thought that was really nice as well so yeah new pair of slippers and they will be on my feet tonight also picked up Chris a pair because the same as me he goes through them as often as I do um, and these are his favorite I think he's had them probably in every single color that they do and whenever I pick him up slippers they're always the same but I do try to sort of alternate the colors um, so he's got these and they've got like this you know, like the furry lining, it goes all the way in. It's, <coughs> excuse me, it's on the sole and up underneath here, on top of the foot. And again, his, if he needs to pop outside, like me, just to the bins or whatever, they have got the rubber soles on the bottom. So, and again, these were four pounds. Um, memory foam, the same as mine, memory foam sole. And these are in a size large which is 10 to 11 um okay and the next thing is right now down to a few of the sale items they had in there um this year i don't know why but i've had an absolute passion for ankle boots and i saw these today so they're a plain just a plain ankle boot uh well they're not plain I mean, as in style, they're a plain ankle boot. Um, they've got like a velvety, it's more of a velvety feel than a suede type of a feel. Um, as you can see, they've got the gold embroidered butterflies on. So I thought they were really, really pretty. Um, the heel, again, isn't too hard. I cannot wear a high heel, but if I do that, you can see how high the heel is and for me what makes this easier for me to be able to walk in is the fact it's a block heel um if i turn it over you can see just how wide the bottom is they've got this nice grip also here they've got that grip here so i'm not going to say you're not going to slip but you're more well less likely to slip on that sort of a sole um they've got let me do it this way Should have prepared this earlier, should I? So they've got just the you undo the zip here to get your foot in, and inside they've got once again they've got that memory sew inside. This seems to be something that Primark are doing a lot at the moment is putting the memory soles inside of shoes. So, and especially where you've got like the where the ball of your foot sits, that seems to be my problem. That's what really hurts if I'm wearing anything for too long, but with that memory sole inside, that really, really helps. Um, so yeah, they just do up here with the zip. Now these were originally, <coughs> 16 pounds. Yep, they were originally 16 pounds, and look what I got them for, three pounds. What an absolute bargain. Three pounds, honestly. 
I just couldn't believe it. They also have them there in grey, um, but the butterflies were like, it was, it was um, almost like a silver grey, and then the butterflies, again with the embroidery, but it was like um, a light grey on top of the, like, the silver grey. Um, very subtle, very, very pretty, but I thought I could probably style this with a lot more. So three pounds, that was an absolute bargain. Um, okay, the other bargain that I picked up again were, let me just take that off and move this bit and I could probably show you guys a bit easier. All right, okay, so another pair of shoes. Um, these are in, what colour are they calling this? It's like a sort of a tealy, what are they calling it? Oh, hasn't even got colour on there, but I guess you would say, I don't know, it's not quite teal, maybe like peacock, you know, like that peacocky blue. Oh, just one second. I'll be back. Yeah, so I would say they're probably more like a peacock, um, petrol type of a colour, but very, very pretty. As you can see, they are flats. They've got a tiny, tiny little risen bit on the heel, which... I think is always better as opposed to completely flat because you don't get that ache in the back of your calves. Um, so just that slight, slight elevation is really good. Once again, they've got that lovely squidgy insole for comfort. Um, they've got the bees on there. Now, if you've seen my last Poundland haul, um, You'll know how much I absolutely love bees and bumblebees and um, in Poundland, say in my last Poundland video I did, I did actually pick up some uh, cushions in there with bumblebees on, so take a look at that one. Um, but I really do love the little bees on here and they've also got, if you've just noticed, they've got here, they've just got like the piping here in like a black paintant. Um, and also round here, it's not around the edge here, they're really soft, really, really comfortable. And to be absolutely honest with you, these are a pretty good dupe for the Gucci shoes. Gucci are very, very bug, bee, flowers inspired at the moment. Um, and these are very, very similar to some of the Gucci shoes that I've seen talking about Gucci right this handbag was a previous find way back in the summer from Poundland again it's got the the whole Gucci influence going on here with the bumblebees um, with the black patent leather here um, then you've got your red burgundy and the green here which is like in a really soft velour um, sort of a suede feel they don't, I don't think they do that anymore. I haven't seen it in, seen any of these in there. However, they did have some like nudie color bags today in there, quite small like this one, with um, again, bumblebees, but with like clear crystals. So very, very, very summery and be amazing for a wedding. So yeah, go get, if you like that sort of a look like I do, go and have a look. Right, two more items of the sale. Let me just chuck that one down there. Right, so I picked up two of these in different colours. Right, so this is a cardigan, and what colour are they calling this? They are calling this blush, which is probably how I would describe it. Yeah, so it's a lovely blush colour. Um, long line cardigan, as you can see. It's got buttons all the way down, literally to the bottom of the cardigan. So I'm on tiptoes now trying to show you. Um, it's got a pocket on each side at the front, just, well, I say plain at the back, but the pattern continues all the way around the back, exactly as it is on the front and down the sleeves. Um, you've got the little cuff on 
the sleeves so that's nice so you're not going to get I don't know you may like the sleeves that sort of fall over your hands and that but it, I, I can't bear that so um, yeah the fact that it's got the cuffs there that's really good and it's also if I show you the bottom again there you go it's also cuffed at the bottom so it's got like the hem the cuffed hem at the bottom um, this one was originally how much was this originally 12 no 13 pounds and today it was down to and I got it for five pounds so I thought that was really nice you know this time of year I know it's still really cold out but sometimes just popping on a cardi like this can keep you warm indoors or when the the better weather comes at the spring this just over something else that I'm wearing will be enough for me um, so I thought that was really good and what I will do a bit later is I will insert some pictures of me wearing these as well so that you can see what they look like on okay um, and I also picked up exactly the same cardigan but this time in the grey are they calling this grey because I would they're calling it grey <laughs> so yeah exactly the same um, it's got the buttons all the way down right down to the bottom of the cardi let me get on tiptoes because that's how long it is um, again it's got the pockets uh, both sides there um, same detailing as the other one with the pattern just continuing around the back and down on the arms with the cuffs um, this again was reduced um, from 13 down to the five pounds just about to see the five pounds I think but yeah the five pounds there it is um, so again I will pop a little picture in of what that looks like looks like on and the final thing that I bought this wasn't in the sale this was um, this was like full price and I saw it first of all I sort of saw it on the mannequin there and she, I think she had it styled with I can't remember what, a little sort of blushy pink little jacket over, it really caught my eye. So then, you know, when they have the mannequins and they style them up, they have the clothes that the mannequin has on, on the rail underneath. So I stopped to have a look at this and I just thought this dress was absolutely beautiful. And I bought it now because I think it's one of those that will sell out really, really quickly. And you can wear it for so many occasions. So this is it. So the pattern, there you go. So you've got this lovely black pattern. Um, and it has, if you can see on the flowers, they're like a blush and you've got the green of the leaves. Very, 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 very feminine. Um, I'll show you the sleeves to start with. So the sleeves are like this, so they're slightly sort of blouse on as you go down, but then when you get to the wrist, they're elasticated, and then you've just got a little accent there of the, the little tie-up bow, just as a little point of difference, really. Um, and then you have, let me try and show you a little bit better so it can be worn like that if you want it can be worn sort of off to one shoulder if you want or it can of course be worn as a bardo top a bardo dress you know so off the shoulder like that um, the top has shearing elastic in it so you've got a nice nice look on the bust line I always think that if you've got the shearing elastic there, it really is a really nice look for your bust line. It just sort of shows everything nicely, doesn't it? Um, you've got at the top here, you've got this ruched, um, it's not lacy, but it's just like a really little ruched look at the top, just to sort of add a little bit of, um, Femininity, femininity to it I think it's not just cut straight across then it actually ends here under the bust line 
Okay, um, the back, let me get back a little bit for you guys. So the back, it is a long dress. On me, it's going to be a maxi, because I'm only five foot two. Um, so on the back, it's just all the way down like that with all the, all the beautiful pattern. Then when you turn it around and you get to the front, okay, you have, let me do this, two sexy little splits. They're not high up, they're quite right on me. They are, let me see, so I'd wear this off the shoulder like that. And they are, oh, let me see, where's the, probably to my knee before you get that nice little split there. So if I turn it sideways on, okay, you can see how nice that is. Nice and airy. <laughs> Um, you wouldn't have any problems walking in it either because you've got that freedom of movement there. And I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. I think it would be lovely going into summer um, for an evening out. It's one of those that I think you could dress down and just stick a lovely pair of flip-flops on or a little pair of dolly shoes. And then if you wanted to dress it up in the evening, you could wear a beautiful piece of jewellery around your neckline. Um, or maybe some lovely dangly earrings or something. Yeah, and um, you know, maybe you could just put a really pretty pair of sandals for the evening, whether they be flat or whether you want them to, to have like a pretty little heel or something. But I think you can do a lot with this dress. Um, and I think, as I say, I think it's one of those that's gonna sell out quite quickly. So I bought it today at uh, the full price of once again, it's just a, an absolute bargain. Okay, there's the price. There you go, 13 pounds. 13 pounds, that dress, I thought it was so, so beautiful. It feels like, the material almost feels like, um, like that cheesecloth-y material that has got like a very, very fine, almost pleated feel to it. But I just think it's stunning and uh, I think it would suit everyone. So that's it then guys, that's everything from my Primark haul today. Um, so we've still got renovations going on here, so please excuse all the mess. And I will insert some photographs of me wearing some of these things, well, wearing the three things, uh, popping the shoes and the boots on. And um, so yeah, that's it for now guys. I'll see you all in the next video. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a little thumbs up. Always press that subscribe button and notification and then you get updates of all my new videos. So for now then guys, stay safe and stay fabulous. Bye.